a few days ago or weeks ago, depending on when this video is released and when you're watching it, Akira Toriyama has passed away on the month of March. It is a very disappointing day for all of us Dragon Ball fans. And as a tribute to Akira Toriyama, I'm going to be hosting a Goku tournament in Dragon Ball The Evolution, a 8-bit fighting game that's going to be run and participated by CPUs because I want to know who is the best Goku out there. And yes, Evolution Goku is here too. I don't know why, and let's hope he does not win. Either way, thank you for everything Toriyama. Rest in peace, or should I say, rest in power. Without further ado, let's begin the video. That's right, we are just going to be doing a Goku tournament, and this is the majority of all the Gokus here. About 80% of the Gokus in this one screen. Yeah, that's a lot of Gokus. Now, this is going to be a CPU fight in the hardest difficulty. The hardest difficulty in this game is basically God Mode. So yeah, there's going to be 8 participants. I'm just going to be choosing the Gokus that represents their era. And without further ado, let's begin. And here we go, these are basically the Gokus that we're going to be using. As first stop, as in the first computer, it's going to be Team Goku from the end of Dragon Ball, the original OG Dragon Ball. The reason why I choose Team Goku is because, well, we'll give him a fighting chance. He is stronger than Kid Goku, and unfortunately, the only reason why I chose him is because Kid Goku does not have the grade 8 form in this game, because if he does, uh, it will be very interesting to see. But yeah, then we have Beginning of Z Goku, then we have basically Z Goku in general, in a way, um, you can call him Mid Goku if you want to, and then we have Super Goku, we have GT Goku, then we have, in the 6th place, Xeno Goku, then we have Goku from Dragon Ball AF, because why not, and we have e Evolution. So, uh, yeah, who do you think is going to win? Just leave a comment down below, and without further ado, let's begin. And it looks like we, in the glacier, we have Team Goku versus Evolution. Um, oh yeah, everybody's gonna have maximum health and key. And uh, for maybe for our sake, hopefully, um, OG Dragon Ball wins this one. And we're gonna watch the battle, of course. And let's go. It does look like that our base Goku, or maybe this is not. And the, okay, this might be early Goku then. I don't remember him going Kyle Ken. And they're fighting. They're exchanging punches. The sprite work on the evolution side is pretty good. But it looks like he's just treading hands. And he's just knocking him on the floor. Here comes the clash. He wins out this, and it's, of course, Goku, okay? Um, he's using the spear bomb. It, he, he, took, he took it, and he is now in his monkey form. So it looks like if he takes enough damage, he take, goes to monkey. So he came monkey. Can he survive the spear bomb again? Uh, no, he Goku definitely missed. He charges up. Is Goku going to go even further from Kyle Ken? It just looks like he's just charging up and he's fighting Kamehameha. Misses just barely. And this Goku cannot fly apparently, I, I guess. And he's just jumping like a, like a monkey, I guess. I don't know what else to say. He's finally a, a bigger one and he just barely misses. This is just so. This is just so irritating. <laughs> yeah. Um. It looks like drag. It looks like the Goku that we have is just having the flight advantage and trying to shoot it far away. Doesn't really work. So go close up. And it looks like hand-to-hand -hand combat is this Goku's priority and beats Evolution. Thank God. I don't know who was gonna be rooting for Evolution Goku, but at least he turned to Monkey. That was about it. So, oh, okay, so that is basically early Z Goku. I keep forgetting because all these Gokus kind of look the same unless you squint your eyes. So this is actually end of Z Goku. I don't know which Goku this one is, but we'll see who it is. We're going to the dead zone. And we're gonna watch this too. All right, they look almost exactly the same. Okay, so we, oh, we, oh, okay. Time to class right here. I think this is Dragon Ball Super Goku. If I want to believe, but it has a symbol behind him, so I don't know. But it looks like they are trading pretty well, actually. With well, Dragon Ball was winning, but it looks like uh, whatever this Goku is, maybe Z. Well, I don't know which Goku you will for the left or the right. Um, you can tell that one is basically Dragon Ball because oh, this is Super Goku. So he turns into God. I think that might be a bit overkill. 
So we now know that one's God. And yeah, the same thing. Team Goku has a hard time actually flying because he can't fly yet. He will try to the air clash, doesn't work. Try to get there goes another clash. And fails. Okay, he got kicked down. He doesn't look like it's good for Team Goku here. And they keep them, they're just crashing. They're actually really fighting for you know, supremacy here. But unfortunately, it looks like Super Goku's gonna win here. King Goku is... Well, he blocked a few punches, but he is going to lose. Can, can King Goku at least get him out of light green, at least? No! Super Goku just... straight up obliterate him. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this one might be this so this should be Super Goku ver no, this is end of this is like Z Goku, specifically Z versus GT on Frieza's ship. Don't know how they're gonna breathe in space, but here we are. Wish he was gonna win here. Yeah, this is just normal super I kinda wish they tell us which Goku it is, like this Goku. This is Super Saiyan Goku, so this is like Z Goku specifically. They're actually trading blows pretty well, actually. And it looks like GT actually has the run for this Goku's money, honestly. They're crashing. Alright. Yeah, okay. GT Goku is actually winning. Now, GT Goku might be an adult, but his next transformation is him turning to a kid. So if Goku, GT Goku turns in, transforms into a kid, um, we might be in trouble here. But it looks like they're really trading blows with Z Goku actually getting some hot shots in, but it doesn't seem like a fair trade anymore. It really is just a <laughs> just a punching match. Yeah, I don't know what you're expecting. This is an 8-bit game, of course. But um Oh, he turned Super Saiyan. It looks like he had enough, but is it enough to keep up? Not really. It is technically as like a Dragon Ball fight, if a Dragon Ball fight was like in 8-bit. I don't know what else to say, but they are trying to set up an attack. Just kind of... He's charging, and he lost. He let his guard, he just tried to attack at the wrong time, unfortunately. It was a close battle. Alright, now we have Xeno Goku versus AF. We will see AF go into Super Saiyan 5, who knows. There was Capsule Corp Goku, but... I decide not to bring him because technically speaking that would be Super Goku and it would not be fair. Alright. We have Toro's Goku, who cannot fly apparently. So maybe AF kind of nerfed him a lot maybe. But it will transform. It doesn't okay, it doesn't look like they can fly. They're actually just on the ground. So it might be just a ground battle and Looks like Xeno Goku is winning against AF. AF did turn to Super Saiyan, so this might be a bad sign already. And he's in a crashing. Okay. Um, he's trying to put, AF trying to put up a fight, but I think he might need to turn to Super Saiyan 5 in a minute here. But unfortunately, they are trading blows. It's not in his favor though. He might have to dash attack if anything, honestly. I'm just very surprised that oh, he goes Super Saiyan three. Is he going to go further beyond? Four? Is he stop? Is he really stopping at four? I, I think he can go one more, right? There is five. He turns Super Saiyan five. Okay, he, he's adding max power, and he is technically winning back. Now we never seen Zeno Goku transform yet, but okay, that was massive damage to AF. Another one. One punch to end it all, apparently. So that one punch actually did cost him his life. Yeah, okay, Xeno Goku needed to transform there to maybe survive a bit. But yeah, AF wins. Alright, our next match is early Z and Z in general. Or mid Goku, if you really want to say it. It, it could Goku mid. But like, yeah. Alright, so we have early. Go, we have Goku early and Goku mid here. Let's see who wins. Going to Kao Ken first of all, with other goes Super Saiyan. Um, at least this Goku needs to catch up with some chip damage already. Wrong way. He couldn't really cancel it, so he had to commit to that. And it looks like mid Goku is actually being the first off for Goku. It's just Kao Ken versus Super Saiyan at this point. Kao Ken to the face. Actually, does a nice chunk of damage, honestly. 
and wins that clash. Unfortunately, are they really going to take blows? No, not really. But they are at the similar, similar health pool right now. With the spirit bomb to actually win the back, power 10 times 20. Is this actually enough? He is. He does take more damage in power 10 times 20. Is it enough to bring the tides? Can he die? And I think Goku might be flipping him off. Honestly, uh, I don't know if he is flipping him off, but I think maybe he did. Either way, it was a very good effort on Tao King Goku going to 20, but that kind of risked that almost that kind of did, did risk his life there. But it was close enough to get it to equal. All right, we have Dragon Ball AF versus Dragon Ball GT. Unfortunately, it looks like Super didn't really make it, and we're in the time chamber right now, so let's get to it. He has to start off, and look, okay, it does look like they can actually fly, so maybe King Kai's plan actually kind of nerfed their flying ability. Alright. It looks like GT's actually making it a com making a comeback here. Trying to get the help, who goes to Super Saiyan already. Can GT actually keep up? Now this depends, if GT transforms to a kid, he is going to be in a disadvantaged state unless he transforms to Super Saiyan at that point. So, it really just depends. GT trying to find an opening. But it does look like the AF is really just trying to block. GT actually getting at a little bit of actually a good lead right now. With AF trying, trying his best to just get an opening. Though, so Super Saiyan 3, is it actually enough to bring the tides? Doesn't look like it. GT actually making use of the opponent's weakness of not blocking and mistiming. But it does look like it is getting very, very close. If, if this were 3D, I bet, I bet it would be amazing. Oh, well, GT had a good run, but could he survive bring the back? No. AF wins. Oh, that was a very, very close fight, surprisingly. All right, we have AF versus Z in Supreme Kai's world. Okay, let's go for it. Who's your bets on? Mid Goku or AF Goku? Oh, that's not mid. Okay, I thought maybe. Am I? I think I'm just tripping, honestly. But this is Super Goku, apparently. I, I guess. The, who was he fighting? I don't know who was he fighting. But it's Dr. Goku versus uh, AF. And it's actually a pretty good fight here. They're actually utilizing all their movesets apparently. Super is winning by a bit. But the tides could turn at any moment. It looks like um, AF Goku is not really going to make it here. Unless he transforms. He's going to. Maybe. Super Saiyan. 3. Or let's go five? No, he's sticking to five. Yeah, he's sticking to four. All right, God versus four. Who do you think is gonna win? Unfortunately, it looks like Super Goku is actually gonna win here. Maybe. Yeah. yeah okay. It's a lot of clashing and slamming to the ground. Honestly. Oh, they missed the clash. Okay. It comes another clash. Who's gonna win this? Nope. Tie. It was a tie. And Super won. He didn't need to go Blue or Ultra Instinct. He just won by being God. And that is an actually nice aura. So our winner is Super Goku. I kind of do wish that I can tell from Super Goku and End of Z Goku. Oh no. Super Goku and Z Goku. Because those two Gokus look exactly the same with their portraits. I cannot tell the difference. Besides the name. But even then... As a Dragon Ball fan, I don't really read it. So yeah, and that's technically gonna be it for the Battle of Goku. So yeah, Super Goku won at the end. I don't know who actually saw that coming. And for people who actually rooted for uh, Evolution Goku, um, uh, maybe next time. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. And yeah, thank you all for watching. And maybe if you want to see more, tournaments like this with just a single character leave a comment down below who you want to see next and i'll see you guys next time and yeah this was technically a quote unquote tribute to toriyama if you guys haven't heard 
So yeah, either way, thank you all for watching. Take care.